center, number 24, from Bowling Sky, Harm Bar. <laughs> deserved it, but most of all, I wanted to win it because it would be good for the team, for St. Louis, for the people here, for the owners, and for myself, my family. Well, you know, when you stop to think about some of your problems in the early part of the season, I think you deserve a good deal of credit for the way you've gone about playing your basketball, and by golly, you fellows have got a real shot at taking the Nets now. Well, I try to put my problems aside and just go out there and play my game. And I think we can beat the Nets. I think if we play hard like we've been playing, we should be 2-0 in the series up to, because we should have won the first game. We was up by 14, 15 points. We should have won that. But now we beat them. We, we know we can beat them consistently and, and good, you know, because we should have won the first game. And we're going to give them a run for their money tomorrow night and Sunday. Bob McKinnon put you on Dr. J early, and you stayed with him uh, until you had to step aside because of three fouls and then Lucas was on him for a while, Don Adams was on him for a while. How in the world did you tell Dr. J six points last night? I don't know, but I hope we can do it again because the doctor is uh, quite some player and if we can hold him to six points again, well, I know we're going to win the game. You know, you had an awfully tough time over the season with the New York Nets, but finally in the 13th go at them, you beat them. And I'm sure that did a lot for the momentum. This club today seems to be in an excellent mood. We was in a good mood before the game yesterday. And the first game, we're not afraid of them. We don't care about the team. We, we consider the playoffs a brand new season, and we're coming out to play together and to win. And I'm real glad we won because it was getting a little bit monotonous. Freddie Lewis has got to be a lot of help to you, a man who's been through this before. Freddie's definitely been a help to me. I feel like right now he's the man on the team. He keeps everybody together. His composure and his, his team is going to help us do real good in these playoffs. Whether we win or lose, I think that Freddie is the mainstay in our ball club right now. For the owners, we're definitely 100% for me. They expressed that they needed me, they wanted me here. It wasn't like they were doing me a favor, you know. It was a mutual relationship. I needed them, they needed me. And St. Louis is a nice town, you know, a nice clean town. And I'm looking forward to being here. And I just like the situation I came into. Everybody expressed, you know, desire to help me out, you know, when I get here, help me get situated. And just by the reception I got today at the press conference, you know, I'm really pleased I made the choice I made. They're talking about a front line of Marvin Barnes, Joe Caldwell, who is here today, and a tremendous performer through the years, and Billy Cunningham. That sounds like it would be fun. Definitely. I'm looking forward to playing with them guys. I know we can have a, a great team. I consider Joe and Billy two superstars, and... I'm going to get the ball off the board and give it to them and let them do their thing. <laughs> Rip it off there and get that outlet pass gone. Huh? Definitely, definitely. You've seen the arena. Of course, you don't see it today with a basketball court in it, but it's quite a building, and uh, you know they played the national championships here two years ago. And uh, I, I guess you and the owners and everybody hoped that uh, there'd be a lot of people sitting out there. Yes, I hope, I hope uh, the junior gets into the the team and they come watch us play and I hope we can fill it up sometimes because it's a big place to fill up. It is a big place. You keep yourself in shape the year round? Well, I, I'm not too heavy and so it's not much for me to get in shape. You know, I'm young. I'm only 21. I'll be 22 this month, the 27th. So it's not a problem for me staying in shape. 